Thank you very much. Um, in the next couple of minutes, I'd like to explain to you who we are, what we do, how we do it, what we did for MasterCard, what we are doing for MasterCard, and the lessons learned as a, as a startup collaborating with a company like MasterCard. Um, the Fine Crowd was uh, founded four years ago um, by Daniela Braga, who is a Portuguese lady. Um, she came out of uh, academia, research, uh, speech to text and text to speech. Um, and her last posting was with Microsoft and Redmond, which is where our head office is. We are based in Seattle. But because she's Portuguese, the bulk of our people are actually in Lisbon and Porto. And we have a small office in Tokyo as well. We went through our Series A last year, which is where the relationship with MasterCard started. We are currently 170 people, at least that was last week. We are growing really, really quickly. Uh, work for companies you may have heard of, such as Google, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, IBM, MasterCard, so very large corporations. Um, I'm going to teach you how to stack eggs for a second, if you allow me. Um, what is AI? AI is a combination of machine learning algorithms and data. You need training data to train the AI engine, and that is exactly what we do. We are all about the data. And the problem with data is, is that data scientists who create AI applications spend most of their time on, on collecting the data to make these systems work. And it's, it's a hard slog. It's really hard to find the data if you do it yourself. Uh, typically, the data quality is very poor. It takes you forever to do, and it's very, very difficult to scale up. So uh, that's where we come in, and that's what we do as a company. I'm sure you recognize this. This is the worst thing that can happen. And this is why we're here. And this is what the work we've done for MasterCard. If you don't get this right, if the bot doesn't understand what you're talking about, if it doesn't understand the way you speak, the way you chat, and if you use a keyboard, people will turn away from it. And you lose valuable customers. And, and your level of perceived level of service goes down dramatically. So what we do is we collect data. Um, we then uh, transcribe it, label it, tag it, whatever you want to call it, test the data, and supply it to the data scientists in a company like MasterCard so they can train that AI engine. And how we do it is by means of crowdsourcing. Now, we're not a crowdsourcing company per se. We use it as a means to an end. We're not Mechanical Turk. If you use Mechanical Turk and you send jobs into the crowd, you get something back, and then the work starts. And, that, and then the work starts is something we want to prevent. So we currently have about 210,000 members um, on, on our Nevo platform, as we call it, which is the, uh, the, the next evolution. It's a portmanteau for next evolution. Uh, in 220 languages and close to 200 countries. So a huge spread of languages across the planet. And what we do then is we send tasks into the crowd, have people transcribe text, collect speech, uh, give us text variants, which is the work we've done for MasterCard. And as a layer on top, we monitor crowd behavior. So imagine if you are supposed to transcribe a bit of speech. If you do that, in, uh, and that bit of speech is 30 seconds, and you do that in less than a minute, 90 seconds or two minutes, you're probably doing something funny. If you're asked to rate um, a certain audio recording, which we do for some companies, and you click through, yes, 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 it's all good, then there's something funny going on. If you transcribe texts and um, the, the, the transcription is off by what we consider to be a gold set, we flag you up and, uh, and we are looking at your behavior in, uh, in, in, uh, in this particular task. Because what's important is that we, uh, that we supply high quality data to our customers. So the way we work is we have a, a, an enterprise portal uh, where enterprise customers can define jobs to do which can be speech collection, text variant selection, uh, elicitation, excuse me, uh, sentiment annotation, entity tagging, collection of video, images, the tagging of those images, et cetera, and so forth. They can use the, the GUI or they can use an API. And the flip side of this is what the crowd workers see, which is the Nevo platform, which is either 
a web portal based system or based on their uh, mobile phones, um, and that's how they do the work. So they get task details sent to them, and they send the data back as structured data. After we tested it, we will send it to, to our customer. So now, what we did for MasterCard, uh, we looked at um, their chats, and um, we wanted to help them train the chatbot to do this automatically. So um, as I said before, it was very important that this, that this chatbot works. So um, we worked with MasterCard Labs in Dublin on this particular task. And it was a, a unique and multilingual text data. So we did it in both in English and in, in Spanish. <coughs> and the work we did was we collected text variants for 20 scenarios. And the scenario could be, imagine if you want to ask for your, your, your balance in your bank account. How many different ways are there to ask for a balance? What's in my account? How rich am I? How much dosh do I have? Uh, am I poor? Um, well, tell me what, 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 I, what I have now. All different ways of asking exactly the same questions. So that's what we did out. Whoops, sorry, wrong button. Here's what we did. So we collected in Spanish and English 2,000 variants um, and had them corrected and validated. And um, we ranked 1,500 answers for the chatbot, so the chatbot can give us an answer. And then the second stage was to tag the entities in the text. And what that means is if you take a sentence like, ship this book to France, then shipping is, is a verb, and the book is the content, and France is a, is, a, is a territory. Whereas if you say, book this ship to France, same words, very different meaning. So you need to identify what that sentence does, and that's what we did so to train the system to understand what people were saying. Lessons learned. So um, we supply the innovative power to, to that particular AI application. Master, I don't know where you would join me on stage now because I'm almost done. <laughs> uh, MasterCard, obviously, their, their global presence and prowess. Um, and it was, for us, it was very important. It was a real project and a real reference. So something we can, we can use and show as we do today. Um, as a startup, obviously, working with a corporate like MasterCard, the clock speeds vary greatly. So you have to be prepared that things take a long time. And when you uh, are funded by a Series A uh, round of funding, your runway could be a year, year and a half. So getting going and getting speed and creating the turnover is very, very important. So, and that is something to keep in mind. Um, I think also very important for us was that working with clients who understand AI, who have a strategy for AI, who understand the role that we play in a particular application is extremely important. Educating customers what they can do with AI, which is what happens in Europe predominantly. Uh, people think they need to do something with AI, but they have no idea what to do with it. That is too costly for us. It takes too much time. So we focus on companies who understand what they need and understand the power of collecting the data to train the AI models. And again, you have to be prepared for the long haul because this, this, it's going to take a while. Projects will not take off as quickly as you want them to take off. Thank you very much.